Okay, just doing a quick uh, mid-morning check here. Got 66 watts uh, <clears throat> coming off the panels. <clears throat> According to the kilowatts, I got a total of uh, 54 going to the grid from the two grid tie inverters. Now I'm going to unplug uh, one of them here and see how it reacts. This one's the sun I just disconnected. So now just the power jack is going, uh, doing the work. 68 watts. <clears throat> We're now up to 76 here. Let's see, 75, 76, 68. Plug back in the sun. Looks like he goes back to about where he was, 11, 12 watts. Now I'm going to unplug the power jack. Let's see if the sun on his own, what he does. Come on, boy. Still pretty good power out on the uh, panels. <clears throat> the old son is uh, taking a dear old time making making progress here. I'll stop it and take a look, check a little bit here. Well, <clears throat> well, I tried it. He just never picked up again. So that son is. Really sucking wind right now, but maybe 60% efficiency. Go back to the power, the power jack here. I got a good 78, <clears throat> so it's hanging in that mid 70s. Now we're getting up to 60 watts here. I don't know. This tells me that power jack's got. He's got control. He uh, obviously these two guys are fighting each other because they're both MPP controllers trying to control the input, but it looks like the. Uh, the power jack is knows what he's doing a little bit better. Unplug the uh, sun one more time here. It's like all 60 watts now goes to the uh, power jack. Well, 70 watts here now. 76 up here. <coughs> Pushing 80. They feel like Volkswagen diesel right now. All right. Kind of tells you when you got two MPP controllers all trying to control the same panels. There's going to be a little confusion there. One's going to kind of dominate. The other one's going to suck wind. So... I don't know, in this case, it looks like the power jack is going to out, outshine the uh, the sun. And then when I put everything everything back to the uh, the sun, he just never seems to get, get off the bench much here. He should be doing 60 or better watts, and he's, he's still hanging around 40 here. So, I don't know. <clears throat> I might have a couple sun grid tied verters for sale here quick. Alright, that's enough gooping around for now. Bye. Here's a little view of uh, today's power collection. You can see it got up to 127 or so. We just had a real 
bank of high clouds come over. <clears throat> Let's drop all the way down into the 70s. But this is uh, kind of the real-time screen you get for uh, power with this uh, Watts View program. I'll uh, switch it over to the volts here. This is what's going on with the volts. Again, between that <coughs> 14 and 16 volts like we saw uh, with the other one. Flip on the amps here. See, our amps were good at a little below 8. <coughs> Peaking up here about 8.3. We're now down here at uh, in the low 5s. So, that's pretty cool, I think. Look at our accumulated watt hours for today. So far, we're up to 22. Not too bad. We'll get it back to watts here. Yeah, we'll pick up with this later. All right, here's a little update. There, it's about 57 watts. Down here, we're reading about 50, 47. Obviously, it's changing quite a bit here. <coughs> I'll read it out loud here. We got 67, and then down here we got 54. So it'll help us with our efficiency numbers. All right, here's today's uh, data run. Sorry, I'm still sick. <coughs> and again, we had the power jack connected right in parallel with the Sun 250G. Connected up to the panels. If you look at the whole day, not a real, not as good a day as yesterday, but <coughs> still got up to the 120 range. A couple times peeking out here, which is like what we've seen on the other ones. So looked like even together they're uh, they're still able to accomplish uh, capturing what the Sun has available to us on those panels take a little closer look at the the core part of the day there I'll just take this one period here and blow it up a little bit more <clears throat> so here's what's going on with the power hugging around that 120 average through uh, this period and this is uh this is probably like a uh, close to an hour and then uh, nice stable voltage and current take another closer look at the volts and the amps <clears throat> one interesting thing is the voltage which used to be going between 14 and 16 with just a power jack it was being kept down here a little bit uh, today with these two guys in parallel and then the amps uh, which was normally sitting under seven on the other days when it was just an individual grid tie inverter. Now it's it's actually doing better than eight. So voltage down a little bit, amps up a little bit with these two guys in parallel. But as you can tell by the videos, uh, you know it's hard to say whether they're happy working together or not. They obviously don't need to work together. Uh, we've got enough power just through one of them but uh, it's an interesting uh, relationship there and if I just look like a three minute <coughs> three minute snapshot it's real similar to what the power jack alone was doing but it's now not getting up to the 16 volts that it was doing when it was just on its own using yesterday's data uh, so that's kind of interesting so I don't know I'm not sure the whole test was worthwhile but who knows you'll learn a little bit each time you do stuff like this so I thought I'd share that now I'm gonna go take some drugs bye